Well, during the Montana Farm Bureau Convention last week in Billings, attendees heard from one of the leading experts in climate and livestock, UC Davis professor, Dr. Frank Mintlerner. Now to be perfectly clear, Dr. Mintlerner says it's true that livestock do contribute to greenhouse gases. What's not true though, is that livestock are the main source of greenhouse gases. In fact, in the United States, all of livestock combined makes up 4% of all greenhouse gas emissions. The beef sector is about half that, okay? So that's the amount of greenhouse gas we're talking about. Um, but that's not to say that we shouldn't further look into this and that we should just ignore it. In fact, ignoring methane is a bad idea because methane, as the main greenhouse gas from animal agriculture, is really nothing other than energy. He says animal agriculture really is well positioned to be part of the climate solution. It's just about educating society about the benefits of livestock methane. If you cook at home with gas or you heat your home with gas, that's methane gas. You call it natural gas, but it's methane. If we just let go of methane on a farm, let's say from a manure storage, then we let go of an important utility that we could instead cap and make into transportation fuels for heavy duty trucks and buses like we do in California. He says it's more important than ever though that farmers and ranchers help tell their story to consumers about livestock and greenhouse gas emissions. If your consumers, the consumers of your products, make this a topic of their lifetime, then it's your topic. That's just the way it is. If you wanna sell a product and uh, there's a major topic flung your way, then you better take it seriously because you want to keep selling it. And he encourages livestock producers to be proud of what they raise because the majority of consumers really do love meat. First of all, it's really important to note that the vast majority of people in a country like the U.S. like animal source foods like beef and dairy and eggs and you know, chicken meat and so on. They like it, and 98% Nine, eight, ninety-eight percent of all U.S. refrigerators, we find meat and eggs and dairy, okay? So the vast majority of people like consuming it. Now, of course, that is music to the ears of livestock producers, but maybe more importantly, some really good advice to help keep consumers returning back to the meat case and along the way, educate them about the importance of animal agriculture.